Hi, my name is Jared, and you're watching Life in Plastic. In this video, I will be taking yet another page from Jeffrey Steinman's playbook and doing a version of Buying Back My Childhood. Except that I won't be looking at dolls that were actually produced during my childhood. Uh, instead, I will be showing you dolls that were produced as a tribute to an animated series that ran during my childhood um, and is very special to me. Uh, I am, of course, talking about the Gem and the Holograms 35th Anniversary Commemorative Gift Set. It's a two doll gift set with Kimber Benton and Ray Alonso, uh, and it's called She Makes an Impression. So stick around. All right, so let's get into it. Here is the lovely box that the dolls come in. Uh, it has the gem logo right in the front. It says 35th anniversary gem and the holograms truly outrageous souvenir dolls. Truly outrageous. It's a phrase that we know and love. Uh, everyone who's a gem fan knows that gem is truly, truly, truly outrageous. Um, so, you know, that right there is tugging at our heartstrings already. Uh, and uh, on the front, it just says adult collectible for ages 15 plus. All right, so of course, all the gem fans are probably my age or a bit older. Um, I'm in my 30s. Uh, I watched the cartoons, the animated series uh, when I was a kid. Well, when it first came out, I was probably a baby. Uh, yes, I think I was a baby. Uh, but then I watched reruns on a uh, cable network in the Philippines. Uh, so I, I enjoyed the animated series very much as a kid. Uh, me and my friends, we used to talk about it a lot. Um, and I always, I never knew that there were actually gem dolls that were being produced at the time. Uh, or, or had been produced in the 80s, at least. Um, so I had no idea that there were actual dolls to go with this animated series. And I always, always, always wanted uh, for there to be gem dolls. So isn't that funny that, um, you know, you the, the cartoons make you actually want gem dolls. Um, I think that's that was the whole intention, probably. Uh, so anyway, it's a beautiful box with some nice graphics. Uh, there's, you know, like the holographic print in the front. Uh, and then there are, it's decorated with like musical symbols like G-clefs and notes. Um, so yeah, it's very gem. You know, there's like these little stars and uh, confetti and it's just, very gem is all I can say. And in the back on the bottom of the box, it says licensed by Hasbro. So we know Hasbro has the rights to the gem properties uh, and Integrity is working with Hasbro to produce these collectible dolls. So by the way, these dolls were designed by Von Sawyers and the box I believe was designed by Alain Tremblay. Uh, and these dolls, the gift set retailed for $290 on Sideshow uh, and were sold directly by Integrity uh, for a little bit less by Lottery. And I actually won the Integrity Lottery, uh, lucky me. So I was able to get these dolls for a little bit less. I think it may have been $275, I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a while. All right, are you ready to see what is inside this beautiful box? I am. So it's a magnetic closure and I'm just gonna open this flap. One, two, and woohoo! Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful illustrations of Kimber and Rhea. Such beautiful faces. Okay, lovely illustrations. I'm not sure who did these actual illustrations. They're very, they're kind of photorealistic. 
um, and it's just it's very 80s isn't it so yeah we're, we're gonna take a look at these dolls individually there are two separate doll boxes inside so we're gonna take a look at them one by one okay I got one out one box out it's Kimber and another box out and it's Rhea. Rhea was a character that was introduced in the second season. Um, I kind of had to go back and re-watch the episode where she auditioned uh, to be in the holograms because uh, one of the members left the group. I think uh, Shayna left the group. Was it Shayna? I'm not sure. Uh, to go and design some fashions somewhere else. Uh, I, I don't really remember all the details. It's been a while. Uh, so there's a certificate of authenticity. Here is the certificate of authenticity. Uh, it just says, this truly outrageous limited edition collectible gift set has been created for you in honor of the 35th anniversary of Gem and the Holograms. And it says ultra limited edition. Okay, ultra limited edition. And it doesn't have a number. It's not numbered on the certificate. Uh, but I read online on the Sideshow website that this is a limited edition gift set of $600. Okay, six, I'm, I'm, I think it's 600 pairs of dolls. <laughs> so 600 uh, sets of two. Right, so a limited edition of 600 is still a, quite a small edition. So yeah, it's, it is ultra limited. Uh, and then on the... Together with the Certificate of Authenticity is this um, card that says, important, please read. In order to prevent stains, we have included a clear plastic protector under your new doll's dress. We highly recommend that you leave this in place when displaying your doll wearing her original dress in order to avoid potential dye transfer on her body. This will ensure that this high quality collectible stays pristine for years to come. Thank you for your purchase and please enjoy your new doll. Okay, so I'm supposed to keep the plastic cover on her uh, while she's wearing her original dress, which she most likely will be uh, because, well, let's talk about the body type of these dolls. These are color infusion uh, slash gem 1.5 bodies which are slightly bigger than the Fashion Royalty and New Face dolls. Um, they are 12 and a half inch dolls. So they're slightly taller, they're slightly bigger. Uh, and so they can't really share fashions with a lot of my other dolls, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But then again, you know, it's, it's gem. So you want them to have that 80s style and um, there just aren't that many options uh, as far as, um, you know, original doll dressmakers out there who make like 1980s kinds of ensembles. Uh, so they are going to stay in their original outfits most likely. Okay, so let's take a look at Kimber Benton first. Uh, so she comes in this beautiful little box with the nice portrait of Kimber with that red hair and oh my goodness, the bangs. Um, it's just amazing. Uh, so it says Kimber of the Holograms right in front in holographic print. All right, Kimber of the Holograms. Um, and on the side of the box, it has the gem logo and it says truly outrageous integrity toys licensed by Hasbro, it says in the bottom of the back of the box. Um, so it's just this lovely illustration of Kimber, uh, which I can't get over. It is so pretty. All right, are we ready to see what's inside the box? The actual doll? I am. One, two, and three. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at her red hair. Well, she's very pretty uh, and the hair is shockingly red, very Kimber Benton. Uh, and the outfit is oh so 80s. Okay, I mean, to be honest, it's not really my style. 
but you know, it's, it's what Jem is about. It's the eighties, the eighties fashion. So I totally get it. And it makes sense for this doll to be wearing this hideous outfit. Um, <laughs> so according to the Sideshow website, this look is called Rock and Roses and it's inspired by the classic 1980s look that was made by Hasbro. Okay, so it was part of the Music is Magic series by Hasbro. This outfit was also seen in the animated series. I'm not sure which episode, uh, but if you can let me know in the comments, that would be awesome because I want to check it out. Okay, so as you can see in the box, Kimber is wearing this rose printed jacket and pants ensemble with uh, underneath the jacket is a bustier. This box won't stay open. Um, so underneath the jacket is a bustier with a mesh top. Um, so it's a very interesting ensemble. Um, honestly, it's kind of growing on me. <laughs> I mean, I, I did not love it at first sight, but um, the more I look at it, the more details I see that are really nice. Uh, for instance, it has real, it looks like the jacket has real working pockets, uh, which is really cool. Okay, so why don't we take a look at Kimber's accessories? I mean, we can see the guitar that is taped to the side of the box. Uh, the guitar has a rose print illustration that I think was inspired by the 1980s packaging. Um, so yeah, I, you know, again, I'm not familiar with the gem dolls from the 80s because uh, I was probably way too young to appreciate those dolls uh, when they originally came out. But you know, I really loved the cartoons. Uh, so this is very exciting to me. So here is the accessories box. It says Kimber of the Holograms accessories inside. Okay, and it has the Hasbro logo in the corner. Um, ooh, look at these accessories. Okay, so these are Kimber's accessories. I'm holding it funny because they're gonna fall out if I don't. Um, but let's look at them one by one. Okay, so first we have these beautiful pink high-heeled booties. So precious, I love them. I mean, you can tell immediately that these shoes are larger. They're quite a bit larger than the New Face and Fashion Royalty shoes. Um, so yeah, they're just bigger because the dolls are bigger. Okay, and Kimber came with these blue rose earrings and this white scrunchie. Oh, so 80s, I love it. It's such an 80s look, yes. So she came with an extra pair of manicured hands. I believe she's supposed to come with guitar holding hands since she has a guitar. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think these are the guitar holding hands. Maybe the hands that are on her right now are the guitar holding hands. And then there's this uh, I believe this is the guitar strap and the guitar accessories. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what these things do, but we will find out. Uh, and these are for the doll stand. Okay, so those are her accessories. So let's get Kimber out of the box. Okay, so here is Kimber's guitar. It's blue and it's got some roses printed on it. Um, and it looks really, really cool. It has like real strings. Okay, the guitar has actual strings, which is nice. And then here is Kimber. Okay, she's still wearing a hairnet. So let's remove the hairnet. Okay, so here's Kimber without the hairnet. Her hair is so big. So 80s, very nice and 
You know, she's got those big curls. Um, just look at that bright red hair and that beautiful face. The Kimber 1.0 face mold. Okay, so pretty. Uh, and she's, her hands are covered in plastic. So we're gonna remove the plastic. Yeah, these hands look like they're the guitar holding hands. Okay, so I've removed the plastic covers from Kimber's hands. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to take a close look at this outfit. Okay, so first of all, the jacket is lined and it has a gem and the holograms uh, label, tag, inside. Okay, so here's what Kimber looks like with the jacket off. Uh, so as you can see, she's wearing this mesh top uh, and a bustier underneath, a red bustier underneath. So the closure on the mesh top is actually Velcro. How about that? Very interesting. Okay, so the closures on the uh, pants and on the bustier are hook and thread loop closures. So for some reason, it just had to be Velcro for the mesh top, uh, but the rest of the closures are hook and thread loop. Okay. Uh, so I'm not gonna take the top off, but I do need to take the pants off to get the knee guards off of this doll. So let's do that. This fabric feels very nice. I'm not sure, I'm not good at identifying fabrics, but it feels very um, luxurious. I love it. It has like a shimmery look to it. Uh, and look at the buttons on the front of the pants. So cool. All right, so she's wearing knee guards, as you can see. So we're gonna remove the knee guards so that she can bend her knees and pose beautifully. All right, so the knee guards are off, which means that Kimber should be able to bend her knees now. Let's look at her articulation. She has articulation at the knees. She has articulation, well, the hands are removable. Uh, she has elbow articulation. She has shoulder articulation. Uh, and there's articulation at the torso as well, so that she can move her torso forward and backward. Um, and there's articulation at the hips, okay? Uh, so, overall, a very poseable doll. So like I said earlier, the jacket is fully lined on the inside and it has a gem and the holograms tag. Um, beautiful. All right, so now that she has her pants and her jacket back on, I'm gonna put her accessories on her so that we can see what the full look is like. Okay, by the way, she did come with this very nice doll stand uh, with this lovely acrylic base that has the gem logo uh, and it's a telescoping stand, okay? Okay, so here is Kimber with all her accessories, the scrunchie, the earrings, the pink booties, which I think are kind of mismatched. I mean, that was probably intentional, but to me, it's not a look. <laughs> I like the booties by themselves, but not with this outfit. Uh, but then again, look at her guitar, and she's she appears to be holding it, which is really cool. Right? I'm not even sure how one actually holds a guitar because it's been a while since I've tried to play a guitar. Uh, but I would say that she looks really cool with the guitar, wouldn't you? So overall, I am not a super huge fan of the look, but I get it. It's very 80s, it's very gem. Um, it's very bright and colorful. Uh, like the characters in the animated series. So I get it. It's it's definitely a very faithful um, adaptation of the 80s fashions, uh, which is, a, you know, Von Sawyer's did a fantastic job, I think. But it's just, you know, really not my aesthetic, but I get it. I, and I am enjoying it, even though it's not really my thing. Um, so I, I am loving this doll. Really cool. So that's Kimber with her big hair. 
Uh, I'm not even sure how I managed to get the scrunchie up in there, uh, but I did. Yay. I'm also noticing that Kimber's eyebrows are actually blue. Uh, which I'm not even sure if that's like an actual detail from the animated series. It probably is. Uh, but it's, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. She's pretty. I think she looks great. I am loving the whole 80s throwback thing. Uh, even though it's not really my aesthetic. I enjoy looking at it. I'm really enjoying this. Um, and yeah, I, I do, I really think the boots are cute. They just don't really go with the outfit, do they? Um, it's, it's such an odd choice, but okay. Maybe that's how it was in the cartoons. I don't know, if you guys know, let me know, okay? Guys, I'm having a problem with this doll stand. It doesn't stay up. See how it just kind of, it just, it, it moves very easily. So it's not really holding the doll very well. Maybe if I change the, the holder to the saddle style, maybe it'll work better. I don't know. Yeah, that seems to be working better for me. So here is Kimber on her doll stand. It's kind of precarious. So yeah, I don't want to like drop the doll or anything. Um, so yeah, so here is Kimber on her doll stand. She's super cute. I love her. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to place the guitar straps so that we can secure her guitar better. Um, but that's like another video. Okay, so if anybody knows how to properly place the guitar strap on the guitar, please DM me, okay? Let me know. Um, DM me on Instagram, I'm at Life in Plastic Blog. Uh, because I'm having some trouble with this, I don't know how to put it on and I don't wanna force it, I don't wanna break anything. Uh, so yeah, if you know how to put it on, please let me know. Uh, I would, I need, I need your help. I really would appreciate it if somebody could help me with the guitar straps. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what this thing actually is supposed to be. Um, so, help, 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 help. I need some help. So by the way, this gift set is called She Makes an Impression. And did you know that that was actually a song title from the animated series? There is a song called She Makes an Impression that they sing, the Gem and the Holograms sing. Uh, and it goes, She makes an impression, da -da 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 -da. she makes an impression. So here is Rhea Alonso in her box. Again, this beautiful illustration of Rhea uh, with that bubblegum pink hair. Okay, and it says Rhea of the Holograms, right? Up front in holographic print. Um, and you know, it's just decorated with stars and confetti and palm trees. Um, it's very gem. Okay, gem and the holograms truly outrageous. Uh, so are you ready to see what is inside this box? I am. One, two, and woo -hoo! Oh my goodness, look at Rhea. She is so, so pretty. I actually like Rhea better than Kimber, um, but that's just me. That's just my preference. Uh, so Rhea is beautiful. So Rhea Alonso is a Latina drummer uh, who was introduced in season two of Gem and the Holograms. Okay, so Rhea's outfit is called on stage. Okay, so this is her on stage look, and it is inspired by an outfit that was only seen on the animated series. So this was never produced. All right, so this is an outfit that was only on the animated series. It's really cute. So it features a custom hot stamped jacket and a cocktail dress with a peplum around the waist. So you can also see that Rhea is wearing some nude mesh stockings. I, actually, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's there, I promise you. Uh, so let's take a look at Rhea's accessories. First of all, you can see that she's got 
at least part of her drum kit uh, taped to the side of the box. So again, Rhea is a drummer, right? Rhea is a drummer. She auditioned to be part of Gem and the Holograms uh, after Shayna left. Okay, so these are Rhea's accessories. They are so cute. So first of all, she's got like these purple hoop earrings with matching bangle bracelets, okay? Uh, she has an extra pair of drumstick holding hands because she's a drummer. Uh, she has, well, she has like these pink drumsticks and some other drum related accessories, which I'm not sure what they are. Okay, so Rhea also has these sparkly high heeled pumps. Very pretty, very sparkly, I love it. Um, and she has like components of her doll stand in here as well. Okay, so first of all, thank goodness the drum stand came with instructions because I wouldn't be able to figure this out by myself. It's like Ikea. They have like directions on how to assemble the stuff. Okay, so here is Rhea out of the box. As you can see, she's wearing a hairnet, which we will remove. Okay, she's got this lovely bubblegum pink hair. Uh, amazing, amazing hairstyle with those bangs. Uh, and look at the beautiful screening on this doll. Okay, look at that face up. It is so 80s, so gem. Uh, she's also wearing knee guards on top of her nude mesh stockings. So we're gonna remove the knee guards and the plastic covers on her hands so that we can take a closer look at this doll. Okay, so here she is with the knee guards off. So now she can bend her knees, lovely. Uh, and the plastic covers on her hands are off. Uh, so supposedly, supposedly she's got plastic underneath this dress to protect her from the fabric. Um, so yeah, but you can't really tell. I mean, it, the dress fits very well, All right? It's very pretty. I love the ruffled peplum, so 80s. Uh, and this mini skirt is everything. Actually, the whole dress is just so cute. I am loving this outfit, actually. So yeah, overall, Rhea is a very pretty doll. Uh, I kind of like her better than Kimber. Uh, let's put her accessories on her and see how she looks with the shoes on and with her jewelry. All right, so here is Rhea with her drum kit. Oh my goodness, it is so, so cute, so adorable. I love it. I'm not sure if that's really how it's supposed to look, but that's kind of how I did it. I think maybe the drums are supposed to be a little tilted, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is Rhea and her drum kit. So cute. Love her accessories, love those hoop earrings. Uh, the pink drumsticks are so adorable. Uh, her shoes are beautiful. Love the sparkly shoes. Um, just everything is so fantastic. I love it. So yeah, I am totally in love with Rhea. I cannot wait to display her next to Gem. The only Gem doll that I have for integrity is glitter and gold, I believe. Uh, it's called. Okay, so here is Rhea and her drum kit. So cute. Uh, my only thing is the drum kit is not really staying up. It just wants to slide down. So I'm not sure how to keep it up, but uh, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll put some tape down there or something. Uh, see how it just, if I wiggle it a little bit, it just slides down. Um, not sure why that's happening. Uh, I think that's like a design flaw, um, but overall the doll is cute. The accessories are super cute. Um, and I just love this 
set so much. And just like that, it is time for me to give you my final thoughts on these dolls. So I'm not holding them uh, because it's kind of precarious. I feel like the accessories are gonna fall off if I you know, hold the dolls up to the camera. Uh, so I just have them placed right next to me so that you can take a look at them. Uh, they are very beautiful dolls. I love the face-ups on these dolls. I love the hair. Uh, the fashions are truly outrageous. They're very gem, very bright, very colorful. Um, just very 80s inspired. Uh, we know Kimber's outfit is inspired by an actual fashion pack from Hasbro uh, and Rhea's outfit is inspired by the animated series. So they're both very 80s uh, and classic gem. Uh, and as a collector, I am very, very pleased. Uh, and also as a gem fan, I am very, very excited uh, to have these dolls in my collection. Uh, and they're gonna be displayed next to my glitter and gold gem, um, which is the only gem doll that I have. Uh, by the way, the glitter and gold gem that I'm talking about is not even a Hasbro glitter and gold gem. It's an integrity glitter and gold gem uh, from a few years back. Um, so yeah. I'm very excited to have these dolls. Uh, I think they're wonderful. Uh, they are a great addition to my collection. Um, and I guess I'm a gem collector now too. Uh, and I feel like I have bought back part of my childhood uh, because I really, really enjoyed the animated series when I was, I think maybe 10 or 11 years old. Uh, and I was watching it on uh, the cable TV in the Philippines. Yeah, so Gem is like a worldwide hit. Uh, she was, you know, she was in the Philippines too, and me and my friends, we love Gem. There's definitely a special place in my heart for Gem. Uh, so I'm very excited that these dolls have joined my collection. I cannot wait to photograph them for my Instagram. Uh, and of course, to display them in my display cabinets, since they are so wonderfully made. Yeah, so the only concern that I have are um, the doll stands don't feel very sturdy. Um, I feel like, you know, I mean, it's a good thing that they're just gonna be displayed uh, because the doll stands kind of um, are, they kind of feel loose to me. Uh, I don't know why that is. If I'm doing something wrong, I, I really don't know. Um, but otherwise, these are very well made. Uh, the dolls are beautiful. Oh, the, the other thing that I, I did not love is that Kimber's hot pink booties don't really match her outfit. Uh, but that might be just, uh, you know, to stay consistent with what was produced back in the 80s. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure why they made that uh, design choice. Yeah, but overall, Von Sawyers did a very good job designing these dolls. They're, they're so lovely and I'm very, very happy. And I hope everyone who managed to get these dolls is very happy with them as well. Yeah, the other thing that I wanna add uh, is that the packaging is absolutely beautiful, uh, especially these gorgeous illustrations. So that was a really nice choice by Alain Tremblay. It is time for question of the week. And this week's question is from Seriously Yours. Seriously Yours asks, have you collected all the BFMC Silkstone dolls that you've wanted, or are there more you will add to your collection in the future? Well, the short answer to your question is that there are a few Barbie fashion model collection dolls that I would love to add to my collection that I don't have yet. Um, and uh, some of them include uh, Chatain and uh, Capuchin, um, Lady of the Manor, uh, some of the career girls like the nurse, uh, the French maid, fashion designer. So yeah, those are just a few off the top of my head that I can think of, but I'm sure if I see something, uh, let's say in the convention sales room next year, hopefully we'll have in-person conventions again. 
uh, next year. Um, I'm really, you know, like fingers crossed, hoping that we will have in-person conventions again very soon. Uh, so I, that's where I'm hoping to find these dolls uh, because they can be very expensive on the secondary market, like on eBay. Um, so I'm hoping to get a good deal at one of these doll shows that I'm going to. Uh, I'm also going to a doll show in Ohio in August and I'm gonna meet up with some of my doll friends from Clubhouse. Um, so I'm very excited about that. All right, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, guys, if you want your question to be featured in an upcoming video, remember to use the hashtag AskLifeInPlastic. That way I know that you want your question to be featured in an upcoming video. So in case you haven't noticed, there is now a join button next to the subscribe button on this channel. That means that I have launched channel memberships so you can become a member of Life in Plastic. Um, what does that entail? Well, if you're interested, click on that join button and watch the video that I made explaining some of the perks uh, that members get on this channel, all right? Uh, and on that note, I do want to thank the people who have already joined so far. Some of my good friends, uh, Willis, Valerie, uh, and a special huge thank you to my lovely friend, Miss Pam Militello for being my first and so far only elite member. Yes. So thank you, Pam, for your support. I'm really grateful. It really means a lot to me. Uh, and your support is just, you know, it's, it's everything. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.